Hi, this is Tom Stokel, Global Technical Lead for AutoCAD Product Support. In this session, I want to talk about changes that we've made in 2010 to make it easier to install and deploy many of our products using multiple languages. The first thing I'm going to show you is changes to the installation wizard for localized products. Here I'm showing the installer for a Japanese copy of AutoCAD 2010, and you can see the instructions are all displayed in Japanese. However, I can change the language that the instructions are displayed in by choosing another language from the drop-down list. And now the instructions are displaying in English. For all of our products that support multiple languages, the installer now supports the local language plus English. This does not affect the language that's being installed. It only changes the language being used for installation instructions. By default, the installation wizard will display the language of the operating system that you're currently running. So even though I may have a Japanese copy of this installation wizard, if I'm running it on an English operating system, it'll choose English by default. However, I could change to the other language using this list. Now let's talk about language packs. Prior to the 2010 release, most Autodesk products did not provide a good way to install multiple languages using the same media. In order to install the same product in different languages, customers were required to have separate media for each language. For example, if you needed an English, French, and German version of AutoCAD, you would have to have the localized product for each of those languages. Likewise, resellers needed to inventory separate physical boxes for each language that they serviced. Starting with the 2010 release, several of our products now provide new language options during the installation and deployment of a product. Installing a product in multiple languages still requires a separate installation session for each language, as only one language can be installed at a time. But now it can be done using a single installer and you can accomplish this using downloadable language packs. A language pack consists of the localized content of a program plus some installation files. This makes the size of a language pack considerably smaller than a full localized product. Language packs are only available to subscription customers and can be downloaded from the subscription website. Language packs are separated into language families. Subscription customers can download any language within their language family, however, they may not choose a language that is outside of their language family. For 2010, there is no multiple language support for products that ship to Eastern and Western Europe. This means that those products will not have multiple language instructions in the installer, nor will they be able to add language packs to installations or deployments. These different language packs will be posted as they become available. So not all of these language packs may be available today, but as they are finished, they will be posted to the subscription center. Now let me show you how to download and install a language pack. You start by logging into the subscription center using your subscription user ID and password. Once logged in, choose the link to download your product software. From the product software homepage, scroll down to find the product you're looking for. In this case, I'll choose AutoCAD 2010. Now from this page, you can see a list of all of the language packs that are available for AutoCAD 2010. You can see there's French, German, Italian, and they're available in 32-bit and 64-bit. Remember that the language packs that are available are based on your language family. So you'll notice I don't have any options to download a language pack for Japanese or traditional Chinese. So find the language pack you want and then choose to download it. Once the download is complete, run the language pack to extract the contents. Once extracted, the language pack will be available for use in installations or when creating deployments. Here I have the installer for an English version of AutoCAD. Let me show you how to add a language pack. I'll choose to install products. And you can see that it says AutoCAD 2010 is already installed. And this is true. I have an English copy of AutoCAD 2010 already installed on my system, and it's not going to let me install another copy in that language. What I can do is choose Select Language for Individual Products. And then from this drop down list, I'll choose Add Language. And let me move to the directory where we extracted the language pack. 
So here's the French language pack I just extracted. And what I want to pick is the acadlp.msi file. So now you see I have the option for either English or French. It's not going to let me install English again, but I can pick French and choose that. And this will create a second installation of AutoCAD 2010 in French. This is a side-by-side -side installation and needs to be installed to a separate directory than my English version. Moving forward a bit in the installation, you can see that many of the installation options are now available in that language. Now let's look at how you would use language packs when creating deployments. Here I've started the process of creating a deployment of AutoCAD 2010. On this screen you can see that all I have in here is English right now. But I can add a language just as I did for the installation wizard. Choose Add Language and it defaults to the location that I had selected earlier for French. So I'll go ahead and select that. And let me go ahead and add one more. Come back here and I'll choose the German language pack as well. So now you can see that I have English, French, and German available. And what I'm doing here is creating an administrative image that includes all three of these languages. You can only create one deployment at a time for each language, but you can have all of the languages included in the administrative image. Notice that my default here is English, which means that I don't have the option to remove English from the administrative image. However, if I were creating a deployment in German, you can see that now that can't be removed from the administrative image. However, I could choose not to include the other languages. If I continue on from this point, I will have created an administrative image with three languages and a single deployment for German. The advantage to doing this is you can go back later and modify the deployment to use another language or you can create a new deployment using this as a template, which is faster than running through the entire deployment creation process for each language. In summary, I've shown you how to change the instructions in the installation wizard to display in either the localized language or English. And I've also shown you how to download and extract language packs and how to add them into your installations and deployments. I hope this has helped you better understand how to incorporate multiple languages into your work environment. Until next time, thanks for watching.